The final leg of the Great British Experience took us deeper into the English countryside where the cream of the Cotswolds awaited the guests. It is a postcard perfect setting and indeed it has been said that Lord of the Rings author J.R.R. Tolkien might have gotten his inspiration for Middle Earth from the Cotswolds. Now you're looking at something that 50 years ago was officially proclaimed as an area of outstanding natural beauty. I'm not talking about myself of course because I did say 50 years. I am talking about the Cotswolds a region which extends from Oxfordshire down to Somerset, spread across five counties, and is so defined because it sits on Jurassic limestone, which means it has this unique grassland habitat. Now, enough of the geography lesson. What it really means for you is that you've got miles and miles of countryside, rolling hills, greenery and woodland, miles and miles of pubs, restaurants, and cozy little nooks where you can try some organic produce. It, in other words, gives you a slice of the best in English country life. After quickly checking into the Greenway Hotel, the guests wasted no time in checking out authentic gastro pub grub at the Royal Oak. After lunch, a long country walk was in order, and nowhere was it more pleasant than in the massive grounds of the thousand year old Sidley Castle, a favourite of the Tudor Royals. And there to welcome us was the lady of the manor herself, Lady Ashcombe. Well, what we like to do is to sort of entertain our visitor with our history. And so it, it, there's a sort of chronological walk through the history of, of the house. I mean, it starts with the Romans and then it, it, it goes through to the medieval times and the dungeons. And then you go through the collection and um, the Tudors and then the um, Elizabethan, uh, Queen Elizabeth was here on three occasions. And then we go through the Civil War and then we show the visitors some of the rooms that we live in. And then we have the gardens, we, we, we've got prize winning gardens, we won the HHA Christie's Garden of the one year and then we've got pheasants and birds and roses and views and um, interesting sort of healing garden of sort of type of herbs that were used in Tudor times in the house and for healing for medicine. That night after dinner we sat down with the guests to get their thoughts and feelings on their week with enriched lux retreats in Great Britain. I think Overall, it was very nice. I, I like that I don't have to organise everything. It was all well planned, well organised, and um, all I have to do is step into the car, go to the restaurant and, and eat. So it was, it was good. The fact that we've been chosen for this particular programme, I think it really excites us very, very much. I think it's the fact that we've got the opportunity to experience things that are unique and uh, once-in-a-lifetime experience, like, you know, for example, the dinner in the Tower of London and uh, all the private tours that we got and, uh, yeah, the interesting company that obviously will not be able to be replicated, you know, in other trips. I really enjoy the air balloon. I thought that was really fun. It's not something that we would normally arrange ourselves if we go on holiday, but um, really enjoy that ride. And the weather was wonderful. Shudder to say this, but the Cotswolds have been really nice. You know, uh, I think just being in a space where you have this sort of greenery and the atmosphere, and I think as much as it's a cliche, it's honestly very nice to just stop and smell the roses. And that officially makes me about a hundred years old, but hey, you know, it happens to the best of us. You know, Malaysia and I was very kind to reward me with a second honeymoon. You know, so I really enjoyed it. Yes. yes. On the final morning, the guests were off on a tour of the countryside in style in a motorcade of classic cars.
Our trip ended with lunch at the Ellenborough Hotel, a place which just screams elegance, luxury and refined country life from its impressive grounds to light-soaked rooms and cosy fireplaces. And it was here that we took a minute with Nisa to get her take on the week that was. We made it all worthwhile for you to organise this huge trip. We are glad that we have covered the attention to detail across but I think it's creating the unique experience, showcasing the destination that Malaysia Airlines is passionate about, which is UK, and, and rewarding it back to our members who has been supporting us all this while. It's our last day here in the Cotswolds, and what better way to spend it than to luxuriate at this Downton-esque manor, which is Ellenborough Park. Now, here's the thing about going to the countryside in England. You really need to be appropriately dressed. And there are three things that you need. Number one, a four-wheel drive, so you can ride up and down the valleys, and preferably a Land Rover or a Range Rover. Number two, you need a barber, which is a waterproof jacket, or something like this, a parka, with a hoodie to protect you from rain. And it's always got to be in khaki, because in the countryside, khaki's always the new black. Number three, you need a pair of really good walking boots, such as these. These are hunter boots, and they're fabulous. They will get you farther than any pair of trainers can, because you can manoeuvre yourself through uh, squelchy, muddy bits of English countryside. Now, we're going to say goodbye. It's very sad, but we're closing this chapter of the Enrich Lux Retreats. We will be back, however, and perhaps with one of you out there who's a loyal Enrich member. Until then, we bid you stay safe and have fun. I vow to thee, my country, all earthly things above and tire and whole and perfect the service the service of my